Hi, what does ambition mean to you? Ambition to me means being driven. Right. It means being able to set goals. It means having that thinking time. It's the doing to me. It means that I can go along and I can follow and we can be sheep. But being ambitious means you see something and you go the extra mile to figure out what are the steps that I need to take to get there. Okay, cool. So are you ambitious? I think I go back to the driven word. Um, I think I'm ambitious in the context of being an innovator. I can come up with ideas and I'm always happy to ask for help or because I go by a 50-50, you either get a yes or a no. I think I'm ambitious because I have high expectations of myself and high expectations of others. So my ambition is a driven, hey, we can do it, we can do it. How can we do it? How can we do so it? So you, you like making things better? I do. Yeah. Okay. Why do you think you're this way? Because I've always been the doer. Right. I think um, in my family context that I grew up with, we, I grew up with a... Uh, You've got to get in and do, and if you want something to happen, we'll support you, we'll encourage you, um, but it's got to come from you. It's got to be um, like what you, the, we were saying before, that having that drive, that determination, um, and it's maybe this way when I was little because I always had good support. I was a treasured and a lucky child. I was a love child that had four siblings before me that looked after me and a whole decade in between when I came so I was nurtured and looked after and always encouraged to get up and have a go. My whole professional life and education um, that's what education's been about as well how can we do things differently what is the way I've never been a, a round hole round shape that's been trying to go into a square hole. Right and so some of the kids that you teach, do you think they all have that kind of support in their background? No. No. And, no. and as a teacher, I see you working really hard to kind of compensate for that. Is that something that you consciously bring to the classroom? I believe I do. I believe every child has a beauty, a richness in them. And I would always work really, really hard to try and draw that out so it can be seen. Um, in that, in my again in my professional career, there's been times when I've been seen as risky, right. because I am the one that asks the question. I am the one that says, "But why? Why are we doing that?" So in that context, I have, and quite happily, to be able to be reflective and go, "Oh, I don't fit in there. I don't fit in that system," um, because while schools are an institution and we're from. We're just now changing from the industrialised, we've all got to work together, we're now embracing more of the individual and really happy and excited about where education is going. Um, I've already got 20 years plus under my belt <laughs> in education, I'm more than happy to have another 20 years. Okay. So some of those kids that you're teaching, you bring this perspective about being different mm -hmm. and yet succeeding. You bring that into the classroom to encourage others from backgrounds that are less supported to be more ambitious and to think bigger? Yes. Okay. Um, it's tricky, it doesn't happen just like yeah. that. Um, but I'll always ask the kids, why do you think that? Or what connections are you making with that? So they're doing more than just, well I've read that and I've found an answer, what more does she want? Yeah. I'm always trying to Encourage them to make connections and do it in a different way. Cool. So describe to me the most ambitious person you know. The most ambitious person I know is a lady I met six years ago and she was in charge of Netball New Zealand and I thought she was amazing. She came from Telecom New Zealand background. She went to Netball New Zealand. She only had a two-year tenure and then she went off to the Bulldogs in... Australia and I thought she's most ambitious because she was straight down the line matter of fact but she had a really quirky side to her as well she knew we want this what am I going to do to get it she was very motivated she was very business driven she had structure and she had um, like clout when she would come in and speak in a room people would stop and listen to her right. and she had this way of 
having seen the picture, she was very, you know, when she needed to be PC, she could be, but then she had this way of just drawing people into, hey, this is a common goal. How can we do this? How mm. can we get there? And I thought she was just amazing. She's doing wonderful things in Australia. Um, it's a shame that we lost her too from New Zealand, but that's what makes her ambitious. She she knew a new challenge. Right. She went after it. Yeah. Were you to be more ambitious, do you think? I think I'm actually a doubter. I doubt myself. I know I come across as being bubbly and can handle anything, but the the initially when I read that question, I was going to say time, more time to do yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. But it it does come back also to self doubt. I yeah. will do something and then stay awake at night because I forgot to thank that person or oh my gosh if I've now I've done that what does it mean for that person so sometimes I know I rein myself in because I think no 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 and and that fear of being the Indian that gets shot down if I do this am I setting myself up as a target mm -hmm. and yeah that self-doubt is is there any kind of support that would help you get past that? Is that something that needs to come from within you or is that something that um, the right kind of support could help you? Currently here and now <clears throat> in my profession, if I talk about my profession, um, it is so busy and I you have to be reflective, like drawing out the best in the kids. I love being a DP, I love being a leader, I love being all of those things. But I have to be reflective and just focus back into the kids because I haven't got time for that. So me as a leader, um, I always go back to reflect, asking right. people. As a leader, I was um, involved in a program where we had a mentor and I was so looking forward to it because it's the first time ever I've had that opportunity to do some professional coaching of what do you think? And it's not telling you what to do, it's letting you work through. So that has been an enabler for me because it teaches me I don't need to doubt, I just need to question, and to question and review is okay. But it's still Rather crossing that, yep, it's still crossing that bridge to am I there yet? Because in the teaching and what I do every day, you, you get the there's at times where you need a plus or a minus, mm -hmm. and so it's that accountability thing and the um, equity thing. It's, there's always blurred lines, mm. and um, hmm. and it's a little bit like parenting too, isn't it? Sometimes yes. the investment takes a long time to show up, and you're not quite sure mm. that what you're doing is working or not working until right. way way down the track. Yeah. So a lot of it's so kind of going on. Believe in it, and get, be consistent. Be firm, fair and friendly and yeah. be able to stick with that to yeah. keep going. So if you're feeling shaky, which everyone feels shaky at some stage, it's what you do to support yourself yeah. through that shaky time because you know that you're genuine in here and you have that effect to handle the bad times. Mm.